One of the most talked about topics right now is the housing market in our area. It's been tight, it's been competitive and expensive. And with inflation up and mortgage rates continuing to rise, are we in for, or are we in or nearing a housing bubble? Joining us today are Tom Kirkmeyer and Bryce Gonzer of Fulcrum Home Loans. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thank first you, of all. Doug. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, hey Bryce, first of all, it, it, talking about this housing market right now, are we in a housing bubble at this point? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. It's a, it's a common question that's on everybody's mind right now. Um, the biggest difference from 2008 to now is simply the supply and demand thing. So we're not going to bore you guys with the different changes in mortgages and mortgage fraud and all that sort of stuff because it's come down dramatically. But from a supply and demand standpoint, Back in 2008, there was 3.5 million homes on the market. Compare that to now, there's less than a million homes on the market for sale. So huge, huge difference in supply right there. And then there's demand. So the builders stopped building from 2010 to 2016 because there was so much supply out there. And then they got in a position where, oh, oh crap, we gotta catch up, right? And so that's kind of the position that we're in right now where we're trying to catch up, but we have so many millennials hitting that first time home buyer age, hundreds of thousands over the next five years coming into the market that we simply just don't have enough supply. So a quick answer to that is, is no, we're not in a housing bubble. Uh, uh, Tom, where is the situation heading then? Yeah, like, like you said, builders, kind of as, as the economy changed, they slowed down, they were smart, they learned from 2008, so that's created that inventory shortage. So I see as inflation starts to get under control, as interest rates start to pull back down, we're gonna see a, a, um, more people getting back into the housing market. People are wanting to buy homes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna prevent you know, any kind of major uh, bubble or correction uh, in the housing market. How about locally here? Is the demand, has it slowed down? I mean, for a while there, we were seeing you know, homes go on the market and have 30, offers within right. a, in a day you know, are they staying on the market longer now when you guys are you know helping people finance their homes what are you seeing yeah i mean the homes and there's kind of like three different tiers the the, the first time home buyer homes those are still super popular we're still seeing you know not 30 offers but we're still seeing multiple offers and there's still people that are hungry to get in those first time homes um, it's that next level. It's after you've bought in your first home and you want to upgrade, that's where people are a little bit slower. They're wanting to see where interest rates go. They're wanting to make sure they're being smart um, and not putting themselves in a bad position. And so, um, Bryce, what is affecting interest rates right now? <laughs> Nobody ever knows, right? Uh, so a common thing that people uh, often confuse is that they think it's the Fed funds rate. So when the Fed funds rate come out and the, the Fed hikes interest rates, we get questions all the time from real estate agents, from borrowers simply asking, hey, we saw the Fed rate go up, did mortgage rates go up? And there's not a one-to-one -one correlation between the two. Hmm. So the Fed fund rate impacts short-term borrowing. So if you look at a graph of like credit cards or you look at a graph of automobile loans, that would be a complete uh, comparison between the Fed funds rate and credit cards. They're both going up and to the right. That short-term borrowing is really what the Fed fund rate controls, right? So the Fed has a more of an indirect uh, correlation with mortgage rates and it's their outlook of monetary policy, right? So what is the Fed going to do with the cost of capital? Are they gonna hike rates? Are they gonna decrease rates? We're kind of in this position right now where the Fed is probably at the end of them hiking. Yeah. We're gonna probably enter into a, to a pivot or an actual drawdown in rates by the end of this year and the cost of capital is gonna come down. And Tom, real quick, yeah. um, do you, would you advise someone to get into the market now or wait to see what happens with mortgage rates? There's no one right answer, but I would say now is still a good time in the sense that you're gonna be able to negotiate on home prices. You're gonna be able to get in your house for a little bit cheaper, and when rates do come down, you're gonna have an opportunity to refinance, to refinance. into a better yeah, rate. Can do that, all right. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Great advice and great information today. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yes, sir, thank you. And we'll be right back.